Hello Cancer, I hope you're doing good. Welcome to your October 2023 reading. I almost said love reading. I kind of decided to change these up. Not kind of, I did decide. Um, yeah, I decided to change these up instead of doing love readings. I'm doing like a general spread to see what your theme is for the month and then we'll get into love and career. So yeah, if you don't know me, my name is Alex. Welcome and if you are not new here. Um, I'm really sorry this has taken me or these have taken me a while to get out. I like to do these readings usually the last week of the month so that you can go into the month with these readings but I've been very very busy. My life has been changing a lot and for the better it's been really really exciting. It's just been me trying to figure out how to like rework my schedule you know. Okay anyway what's going on with cancer this October? Oh, uh, that's a good sign. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? Can't say, are you ready to fall in love or what? <laughs> <laughs> full move. Um. Oh my God. Um. Um. Where do I even start? First of all, and second of all, this is definitely relationship stuff. I didn't even like when I do like the general theme for the month. I don't expect love or career. I just like to see where okay we start off with the knight of cups which is someone who's really romantic coming in with a love offer and then we have the king of wands this is someone who's very very attractive and someone who's very very attracted to you we then have the queen of pentacles here which says that i mean this could be this person right this could also be multiple people so you might have multiple options coming in this month and it doesn't look like there's really a bad choice it just kind of depends on what's most exciting to you personally I, I don't see any bad choices here. Um, if you are the queen of, I kind of feel like you are the queen of pentacles and, the, and gender doesn't matter. Um, but I feel like you're the queen of pentacles because I feel like queen of pentacles is someone who knows how to prioritize. And I feel like the knight of cups and the king of wands these are people who are very attracted to your stability and just the way that you handle yourself. And they feel like you're going to be or you would be like a really good partner. Not in like a, I want to take advantage of this person kind of way, but like, oh my god, I finally found someone that's on my level. We then get to the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. <laughs> and then we get to the Emperor here. I kind of feel like... You're showing up in the Emperor and whoever this person is coming in is showing up as the Emperor as well. Uh, I think that you have been taking action on whatever it is you've been needing to take action on. You just haven't really been procrastinating and I think that you're being rewarded for that, especially with the Knight of Cups above the Emperor. So if you've been doing a lot of like work on yourself when it comes to your love life specifically, you will be rewarded for that. We then go to the Eight of Wands reverse and the Page of Wands in the reverse, which tells me there's not a lot of like travel going on here. There's not a lot of... It doesn't feel very fast, I guess is what I'm trying to say. This doesn't feel like something that's going to be a whirlwind, a whirlwind romance. This feels like something that is going to take time. And if you have been doing a lot of work, like emotional work on yourself, um, you may have some obstacles or um, I'm not saying that this person is going to dip out, but you may have like some doubts come up like, oh, is this like really happening? Is this really happening for me? I've been doing all this work and it's finally here. Is, is this too good to be true? And then we go to the two of cups, which is soulmate energy and getting into a relationship. <laughs> Overall, we have the sun and the ten of wands in the reverse. I mean, I this is such a good reading. I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. Um, um, Ten of Wands reverse is like dropping burdens and the sun is like happiness. So heavy Leo and Aries here. 
fire energy. Very interesting. The eclipse could be very important for you. This, month. I believe that is on the 14th or something like that. <sighs> okay. Show me career. Actually, no. Let's do love. Show me love for Cancer since that was a huge emphasis. Show me Cancer's love life. Show me more on this. I have two sixes here. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of emotional work, I think, on yourself. And then we have the temptation. Yeah, that makes sense. That's 666 energy. Okay. Um, so 666 is not the sign of the devil, first of all. <laughs> um, it just means, like, you need to find more balance in your life, which makes sense, right? It's, like, it's about bad habits and uh, old mindsets that need to go in the fucking trash. We start off here with the judgment in the reverse. I feel like in the past, you've judged yourself very harshly. Um, you may not have had a really easy time looking back on your past choices or even mistakes. And um, you know when you think of an embarrassing moment and it literally makes you like want to die? It's kind of like that, but not exactly that random embarrassing moment you have from the fifth grade. It's like thinking about all your past relationships and all the all the things that you've been through, all the decisions that you've made, and just feeling really embarrassed by the things that you've done or the things that you've allowed. And I feel like you're finally moving on from that with the Six of Swords here, just moving on to calmer waters. And then we have the Hermit in the reverse. I feel like you're finally ready to kind of like come out of your cave. And then we have the Six of Cups. So I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons in your love life, and you are finally being rewarded for that. Overall, we have the sun and the devil in the reverse. So yeah, you're releasing a lot of bad habits. You're releasing a lot of old mindsets this month that don't serve you anymore. I know that sounds really general, but I mean, I'm just telling you what the cards are giving me. And the sun, yeah, you're being heavily, heavily rewarded for all this work that you've done. I feel like this has been a long time coming. I don't think that this has been just like something over the last couple of months that shut the fuck up. Sorry. <laughs> this isn't something that's just been like in the works over the last couple of months. I think that this has been something that you've been having to deal with for a while, maybe even like a few years. So I don't know. That's just what I feel. I always get that feeling with the Six of Cups because it is kind of like the childhood card. And so I just feel like you're finally getting some sort of break or relief. I don't know what's going on in the sky, but you know, let me know if the astrology is projected to be good for you. I have no idea. Um, yeah, we have Capricorn and Leo here. Capricorn, Leo, and Virgo. I feel like something about Leo energy, right? Leo keeps popping up. Interesting. I don't really think that this is anyone from the past. I don't think you're getting back with an ex. I mean, obviously some of you will be, right? But like, it's not really what I'm picking up on. I guess with the Six of Cups it could be, but like, I just don't really feel that. I think the Six of Cups is more of like a personal thing for you. Okay, uh, show me career for Cancer. Show me career for Cancer. Show me career. I think career is where you're having a bit of trouble. But it is going to get better. You know what? That's the overall... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Um, oh, I, I want to start off by saying this is really good. So I do feel like there has been a lot of... I don't want to say delays. There's been a lot of questioning. Like, like what am I doing? Why am I here? Why am I doing this? Is this really what I want to do? Can I see myself doing this for 20 years or whatever? You know, I don't know how old you are. I don't know how long you plan on working, but I do feel like you are going to be getting some sort of job. If you've been looking for a new job, that's definitely happening. If you have it, I do feel like you're getting some sort of promotion or you're finding a new sense of like inspiration and it's going to help you be a lot happier in your career and with your choices. I feel like you're just making really good choices this month, Cancer. Uh, we have suspension reverse, which is the hangman in the reverse. Um, I feel like I just heard, turn your frown upside down. <laughs> that's, I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like you're, and I don't know if you're feeling inspired just by like all the work that you've done on yourself emotionally in regards to your love life, but that kind of, 
that's bleeding over into your career as well, which totally makes sense. I, I firmly believe that like if you make bad decisions in your career, that kind of bleeds into your love life and vice versa. Um, because I think like the decisions you make in one area of your life kind of describe how you handle stress and how you handle stress is kind of who you are at your core and you can always change and right I'm speaking generally but like you can always change but like if people choose not to do better in their love life if that that's going to bleed over into people not trusting them at their job and if people or if you're if you're not trustworthy at your job um you can hear my cat meowing. <laughs> um, yeah, if people can't trust you at your job, then like that that kind of un that kind of behavior is gonna bleed over into your love life. I, I really do believe that. And I feel like I've experienced that. And I feel like you're just learning a lot about yourself and who you are and again reflecting on those bad habits that you've been making, you're like, okay, like this is who I am or this is who I've been fundamentally at my core and it's not working anymore and now I need to I need to change like I need to change something something needs to change and I'm not saying that you've been crazy you've been making crazy financial decisions or that you have been ruining people's lives but I do feel like you haven't really been happy over the last few years and you're just kind of sick of your own shit and you're just kind of sitting down and being like all right I need to do xyz to get myself out of this hole because no one is coming to save me and it's you're being rewarded for it i almost feel like you're jumping into like a new dimension or something i know it sounds very spiritual woo woo like dumb but that's really what it feels like even if it's not necessarily true i think emotionally it'll feel like that like you just kind of entered a new world this month we then have the queen of wands in the reverse which can talk about shadow work we move to the temperance here which is divine timing and patience and the star which is hope like having hope and manifestations coming in overall i love this we have king of wands and the knight of wands i love getting wands energy in career readings because it means that you're passionate about what you're doing and it means that you like what you're doing and when you like what you're doing and you're passionate about what you're doing the money will follow um, at least that's what i genuinely believe so yeah, I, I just feel like there's a lot of creativity going on here. I feel like there's a new spark happening for you in your career, whether that be a new job or just like turning your hobby into a business. And now you're, you know, going full time, um, doing something that you're very, very passionate about. I don't know. I, for entrepreneurs, I do feel like um, if you've been kind of like, oh, I'm not making as much money or why am I even doing this? It's time to like kind of take a pause and ask yourself why you started doing this in the first place. And I also believe, I don't know why I'm going on this tangent. Obviously somebody needs to hear it, but I always believe that like if you turn a hobby into like a side hustle and you stop enjoying it, then you probably shouldn't be doing it. Um, like if that thing brought you joy and the business and the money side of it is like taking away the fun, then it's probably time to find a new side hustle because it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's not worth to like dim your light just to like get a few sales on Etsy. I, I, I genuinely believe that. So I don't know who needed to hear that, but yeah, heavy Sagittarius energy here, Aquarius, Pisces. Amazing 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 reading um yeah i've been pulling the egyptian gods so let's see what you guys get cancer oh, there's more in here hmm? okay. this deck is really hard to shuffle i should have shuffled this off camera Ooh, see it's like really thin you see that it's like really thin okay an amazing reading i don't have any cancer in my chart so i'm like all right cool transformation yeah very fitting yeah look at that overall or not overall sorry we have number seven isis faith and wisdom and then we have anubis transformation yeah this is very fitting for you cancer i feel like again you've been reflecting a lot on your own like how you've harmed yourself with your own like bad habits and stuff and i feel like you're just kind of sick of your own shit and you're making a lot of changes in your life i feel like you're having a lot of emotional growth a lot of emotional maturity and it's really going to pay off you're calling in some sort of soulmate that is on your level and they're going to be obsessed with you in a healthy way in a good way and it almost feels like when you meet this person 
you're they're gonna be like oh my god like where have you been all my life and I think you're gonna feel that way too um like I said at the beginning of the reading I do feel like you're gonna be like oh my god is it this is too good to be true this is crazy but I don't think that that's gonna last for very long I do like I, I don't see the relationship ending or going south or anything I just feel like you're having normal human reactions to something good happening especially if you've been kind of going through the ringer the last couple of years which I do feel for a lot of you so yeah this is going to be very unexpected but expect the unexpected I feel like I might make that the title if I remember expect the unexpected um yeah I don't know lots of good things come to you and then especially in your career there's going to be a newfound inspiration so rely on everything that you've learned with faith and wisdom maybe call on Isis if you need some help and then we have transformation here huge changes for you cancer that's what I have for you I hope that that helped somebody out there um yeah I, I don't well do I have any other speeches go check out your other October readings I know I've been kind of slow to upload these but yeah definitely go check out your sun moon and rising sign to kind of get the full picture of what's going on this month and i'll see you guys later bye